to install new apps or software to your MacBook. You can download it directly from App Store if it's available, or you can download the installation file from the website. I'm going to show you both methods. First, let's do the App Store method. Click on App Store. If it's your first time using the App Store, you might see something like this. Then go over to the search bar and look for the app that you want to install. For example, CapCut is available on the App Store, and it's right here. I can click on Get, then click on Install to install this app. You're going to need to sign in if this is your first time. Once it has finished installing, click on Open. And you see the icon right here is trying to open it. Depending on the spec of your computer, it might take a while, like this one. Now we have installed the app. If you want to keep it on the dock, you can drag this icon over and pull it right before that divider. And that divider means that everything over here will stay, even if I close it. See, the app icon is still there. You can also find the app by clicking on the launch pad. And that is where you'll find all the apps that are available on your Mac. See CapCut right here? If the app you're looking for is not available on App Store, then go to the website of the app and download from there. For example, I want to download Chrome. Then I'm going to go to Google and type in Chrome. And right here, it says Chrome official download and click on the download Chrome icon to download the installation file and then click on allow. I can open the file from here and then click on this or I can open the downloads folder and then click on open in finder to open another installation file. Now this little window pops up. To install this file, we need to left click and drag this icon into this folder. This folder is Max Applications folder. And now it's installing the app. And we see the progress right here. Once it's done, you will see that the window disappears. And you also hear that ding sound letting you know that it's done. I'm going to go ahead and close this window. Now that window you see is this installer. If I double click on it, I'll see that little window again. We have finished installing this. We no longer need this folder. You can right click on it and then click on eject right here, or you can open up a finder. Right here, it says Google Chrome and click on this icon to eject that. Now it's gone. To open up the app, click on Launchpad. And voila, the new app is right here. Because it is downloaded from a website, you will notice that when you try to open up for the first time, it's going to verify the app. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to open it? So make sure it is an app that you can trust. If it is, then go ahead and click on open. I'll be using Chrome often, so I'm going to go ahead and drag this icon right into my dock right here.